So we're going to share a book called Cake. The author of the book is named Sue Hendra, and that's the person who writes the words in a book. And the illustrator is named Paul Linnet. That's the person who draws and paints the pictures in the book. Now, the two of them have written lots of great books together. If you like this one, you might go looking for some of the others. They're awesome. And I use two or three of them with my art classes all the time. This one, Cake, though, this is one that I've used the most. It's one of my favorite little books. Um, we're kind of, you know, winding things down at the end of the year. And so it's just an opportunity to practice some of the things that we've learned in art. It wasn't just all fun and games, you know. There was learning going on. Remember, we learned a lot about the elements of art. Do we remember how many elements of art there are? If you answered seven, you answered correctly. There are seven elements of art. We talked about them a good bit, but the things that we learned the most about were the first three elements of art. Now, at your grade level, I'm, I mostly teach about the first three elements of art. They get a little complicated after that. And so I saved those for the upper grades a bit. So the ones that we have talked a lot about this year, shape, line, and color. So for this little drawing that we're going to do, we're going to focus a great deal on line. Remember at the beginning of the year, we did line charts and we made different kinds of lines that I told you would be useful and they have been. So we're going to roll out everything we know about those lines and shapes too. Now you incorporate everything you know about shapes also. And maybe, maybe you're more into shapes than you are lines. It's okay. Get as many shapes in as you can and color. Now, a little problematic because I am aware that some of my students don't have anything to color with at home. Um, if you do have crayons or colored pencils or markers, after you finish doing the drawing, use them to color, to apply color to your picture, even watercolor, something like that, if you have it whatever works for you. But if you don't have those things, then don't worry about it. You can get by on this assignment with paper and pencil. That would be fine. You just do the drawing the best you can, take a picture of it and send it to me. And I'll be really excited to see what you can do. But if you have something to apply color, that will give it an added dimension. So let me get in presentation mode. Let's take a look at this book. I've read this a lot to my students. So, I know, you know that I'm going to be adding some extra information as we go along or calling your attention to some things that might be important as we're going along. Here we go. Now, here's the cover to the book. So you can see this is really not a recipe book here. This is, cake is a character in the book. And we were talking about lines before, but look at all the different ways the artist has used lines to make this artwork look more realistic or more alive or more interesting. So, so look at the lines in the cake itself. We've got this line, the wavy line that is, it's like a hairline or the cake, but if this were a real cake, that would be drippy icing, right? Here's some more drippy filling here. And we have straight lines going different directions to make little explosions or stars or snowflakes and little curved lines spread out all over the background to make confetti. So it looks like a party, right? So here's cake. This is the end paper to the book, but I think that's an important part of the story that when we start out with the story, cake is sitting in his living room reading. You don't see any party candles or anything there. The important thing about this image is over on the left by the door. There's something in front of the door. See if you can see what that is.
Cake had just received an exciting invitation. Look at it. It says, you are invited to a party! Exclamation point. Pretty exciting. He'd never been to a party before, so he didn't know what to expect, but he was sure about one thing. He wanted to look his best. Fish didn't know what cake should wear. He had never been to a party either. This is his friend Fish over here in an aquarium. He's getting his supper right now. So now on the right side, Cake is trying on different outfits to see what Fish thinks about that. In the first panel, he has a pink parasol and one of those marabou wraps. Hmm, said Fish. So see, he doesn't seem very enthusiastic about it, right? Here in this yellow band, he's got on a pirate costume. Fish says, nope. In the blue band, he has on a superhero cape and mask. And Fish says, I don't think so. Here in the purple band, Fish has an idea. He says, what about a hat? suggested Fish. Good thinking, said Cake. So Cake is off on his way to town to buy a hat. Off Cake went to buy a hat. These are the stores downtown. Look, Maggie's Cake Shop. Mm, interesting. And Hats, Hats, Hats is the name of the yellow, the store in the yellow building. And so that's where he's headed, I think. But I want to call your attention to this. In cities, in large towns, there are building, buildings where stores are, and there are multiple floors. There are There's an upstairs, and sometimes that upstairs is rented out for apartments or something. So you can see in this pink building, there are rabbits upstairs, and in the blue building also. I don't see anybody in the yellow building, but over here, I... I don't know what that person is doing in the green building, but up high at the top floor that we can see squirrels. Looks like they're having a conversation or something. But who is this in the purple building? Who is that? I've read this book a lot, so I know who it is. And I'm going to tell you, it's a sandwich. Cake tried on lots of hats in the shop kind of hat in the pink panel at the top. It's called a fedora, teeny blue hat, a uh, medieval princess hat in a tower, you know, with um, streamers, the streamers on the hat. His upside down solo cup is, is a real hat called a fez. And this is sort of a portrait hat with the, in the yellow panel with the wide brim. Hat with fruit on it, interesting. The one in the blue panel at the bottom is a special hat that's only worn at graduation. It's called a mortar board. But is it for a special occasion? Asked the shop assistant. A wedding, perhaps? No, said Cake. A party. Oh, said the shop assistant. In that case, I have just the thing. And he disappeared out the back. Here you go, sir, said the shop assistant. You'll be irresistible in this. Thank you very much, said Cake. Always polite, but we don't get to see what the hat looks like. He couldn't wait to get home and show Fish his new hat. So over here in this purple oval, Fish is waiting to see Cake's new hat. Are you ready? Cake called from his bathroom. Ta-da! You've done it, shouted Fish. And Fish approves. He thinks this is the right thing. But look at the hat that Cake has on. What is that along the top? It has lit candles in it. And he's got on some kind of a belt, a blue belt, like a ribbon. If you look in the mirror, you can see it has a bow. Looks good on him. K 
Jake was soon on his way to the party, dressed in his new hat. He's going on his bicycle. I think that's a pretty funny picture. Deedly dee, deedly dum. I'm off to a party to have some fun. Now, but we got to check. Who's watching? Down here in the door of the blue building, there's that sandwich. And he's got a walkie-talkie up above in the picture window. That is an ice cream cone. Also, with a walkie-talkie, they're watching him. It took me a few readings to figure out who this was, wearing a hat behind the bush. It's a lollipop. Look up above in the light pink building. That's cotton candy. And down here, under the manhole cover in the street, a piece of pizza. That's not all. In the yellow building upstairs, that is a cheese ball. And in this bush, those two things in the bush are Oreo cookies. Cake was a bit nervous when he arrived. You can see that in his facial expression. But when everyone saw him, they cheered. Cake's here. A party isn't a party without cake, they said. And in he went. This looks a bit like a costume party, right? Cake was having so much fun at the party. There was dancing and lots of games and playing games. But then the singing started. Look at his facial expression. What do you think he's feeling in this picture? Look at the difference between this facial expression down at the bottom in this purple section and the expression up above. He looks happy in the yellow panel, like he's having fun. But in the purple section, the singing started. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cake was getting a bad feeling about this. Oh, crumbs, he said. Suddenly there was a gust of wind. What was that gust of wind? There was a gust of wind and everything went black. Then there was a smell of raspberries, and Cake felt a wibbly wobbly hand grab hold of his. And a wibbly wobbly voice said, Quick, run for it, Cake! And they're all his friends. Look, they're, they're hauling it over the fence there, getting away from the party. There's the cheese ball. Lollipop, sandwich, ice cream cone, the two Oreos, cotton candy, and pizza, helping him escape. So, is that the end of the book? Kind of, sort of, but not really. Where did they go? They went to Cake's house to have their own little party. Look, it looks like he's brewed up a pot of tea and they all have tea cup, tea cups and they're ready to have fun with each other. And just look at ice cream cone relaxing on the rug there. That'll be a mess to clean up. Is that the end of the book? Kind of, sort of, except for this. Meanwhile, back at the front door, ding dong. I do hope I haven't missed the party. The late arrival here. This is a pinata made in the shape of a llama. You know what happens to pinatas at parties? You ever been to a party where there was a pinata? Yeah, somebody takes a stick and hits it till it breaks open and all the candy falls out. What a terrible thing to happen to the pinata. But look in the bushes. Ice cream cone, lollipop, and pizza. They're watching.
get ready to do some awesome artwork. Check down in the video below.